Now let's talk about linking, and this is the process of removing unused executable code. Now by default, if you use a single type from an assembly, your application will include the entire assembly in your output folder. Now, this has happened for a long time, and in the desktop world, we don't really worry about this too much. Uh, we've got lots of storage on the desktop, and also because a lot of the .NET framework is likely pre-installed and shared. In the mobile world, we don't get to share things, so everything needs to be included in your application package. So if you use types from several different assemblies, your app gets big really fast. And now this is where the linker comes in. Mono includes an open source optimizing linker named Cecil, and this is capable of removing types and methods that you're not using. And it does this by analyzing all of the code paths in your application, makes a list of everything, every method, every field that you're using, and then gets rid of the rest. And this process is actually kind of similar to what the garbage letter does with in-memory objects. Now, this optimization can have a dramatic impact on the size of the resulting app, typically reducing it to even half, maybe even smaller. Now, note that Microsoft has its own optimization techniques for Windows, which are for the most part done in the store download process. Uh, this part isn't relevant for Windows, uh, but is mostly for iOS and Android. Now we've got three options available. Now the first, don't link, do nothing. All the assemblies that you're referencing are simply added to your application package. Now for debug builds, this should be the option you choose as it's the quickest compilation type. However, this also generates the largest application package as you can probably imagine. By default, release builds always link the SDK assemblies. Now these are the framework assemblies that have the .NET framework and the runtime. Now this switch includes what we refer to as safe to link assemblies. These are assemblies that have an assembly level attribute applied to them, which indicate they should be evaluated by the linker. And this almost always works just fine because the specific assemblies the linker examines have been built to ensure that the necessary code is always preserved. So you should at a minimum always link the SDK assemblies. And by link, I mean remove the parts we're not using. Uh, and this will reduce your application package size. Now, if your app package is still too large, there is another option and we can actually reduce the size further. And this is last option is to tell the linker to scan all of your assemblies. Now, this is the most dangerous because the linker can be very aggressive and sometimes will remove things your code actually depends on, but wasn't explicitly referencing. However, it's also the one which will drop your package size down the most, particularly if your app has a lot of non-SDK assemblies or a lot of third-party assemblies. Now, uh, we've seen apps that will drop the size you know, from 70 meg down to 20 meg, you know, 70% reduction in size can be really, really significant. Uh, but again, make sure you test that final release version that has the assemblies linked out. Now this option is controlled in the project options under the build tab for either iOS or Android. And we see the Android uh, dialog here and you see the linker behavior. We can choose don't link, link all uh, assemblies or our safe version link SDK assemblies only. Now, if you create framework assemblies that are shared, then you can include your own assemblies as part of that SDK set that are considered safe. Now this is done by defining a custom attribute named linker safe attribute. Now this is part of the runtime, uh, it's in the iOS Android assemblies and you can simply define your own version to avoid taking a dependency on the iOS Android runtime. Then you either use the built-in uh, iOS Android attribute or your own and then the linker will look for that name, the linker safe attribute and it can be in any namespace and this again just tells the linker to include your assembly in that SDK list and this means that your assembly will be linked and um, have the size reduced when using that safe linker setting. So to maximize our reduction, we can change the linker behavior to link every assembly. This is going to walk through every bit of your code and remove anything you don't have a direct reference to. This includes your own code. So if you have some utility DLL or even methods in your own classes that don't appear to be called, the linker will remove them. Now, this sounds a little bit dangerous. The linker can only work with what it sees, and in complex applications, we will often use abstractions or other techniques to hide the final implementations. And these sorts of things can hide a reference uh, you know, from the linker, and then you end up with a program that doesn't execute because it doesn't have all the classes, all the fields 
you know, all the assemblies that it actually needs. So there's a couple of things we can do to manage this. First, we can tell the linker to ignore a specific assembly or a set of assemblies by listing them in a comma separated form uh, on the linker options tab. And this just will let you uh, link the majority of your app, but ignore some critical assembly. 